Hello friends, welcome. I'm Commissar Mark and today we are going to be making a simple, very quick video about these three Augustus specifically, but you can also apply most of this knowledge to Julius. And the video is going to be about three ways to build houses. And this might seem like a simple topic, and it is. However, um, there are some caveats that go into it, especially with Augustus. And so the very first thing, I'm just gonna jump right into it, no, no delays. Let's pick housing. I've prepared three uh, similar uh, housing areas. It's not exactly the same. There's one tile set here. Uh, I'm sure that's gonna, now that I pointed it out, it's gonna trigger someone's um, OCD. So uh, the vo very most basic way uh, to build houses. Well, um, how about we carpet it down, right? And that's what a lot of people do. And it does work uh, in a way because that's how we always did it in the old days. And everyone kind of started that and you see that they merge. Uh, relatively reliably but it's not foolproof they do sometimes also not merge this also will depend if you're using Augustus if you use setting city management all houses merge setting it means that every house can become two by two normally if you don't do not use that setting in Julius or even in Augustus if you don't use that setting you will only be able to merge all houses into two by twos once they reach large insula or above I'm going to also try to explain um, how this would work with mergers in Julius or Vanilla or if you use um, not all houses merge setting in Augustus as I mentioned. How would you ensure that houses merge because it seems very arbitrary right? If I go ahead and disable this option, so go into settings, city management, all houses merge off and then we would go ahead and put down a block and we would sign I don't I don't this to be it's not gonna be optimal that's fine and just you know try to build it so that everyone merges we hopefully get the homeless people to actually help us out with the thing yeah there you go um, they still merged okay so let's go ahead okay this <clears throat> this didn't merge right so even though they are 4x4s and they all have the same setting and they don't suffer from any undesirability or anything, they could merge normally, but you don't have that setting, therefore they don't. Why do these merge and these did? These didn't. Well, it's to do with uh, ground tiles. You see how every tile looks differently, um, looks different when you uh, when you look at it. Like this has a little bit of a like green grass. This one has darker patch. This one has even darker patch. This is like, you know, um, Everything looks differently. So essentially, uh, the game renders tiles. It is why is this like this? Is because at the time when the game was made, um, they didn't have the capacity for the like space uh, as much as we do today for the games to take up. And so they calculated the tiles in such a way they generated and rendered them in such a way that it only allows merging on certain you know spots. And it also is a gameplay mechanic, and a lot of people might still play with it uh, on. But essentially, that's why that is the case, and uh, you would need to know specific tiles and how they look like in order to like play around with this uh, with this um, setting or without it rather. And there are some people who do know how the tiles will look, but it's extremely tedious. I would not wish it upon my worst enemy. But if it's your thing, you know, all the power to you, my friend. I just you know. Uh, pointing out how tedious this is but i'm sure if you know maybe it's not as bad but for me it's black magic so like i i don't know if i can find it i will show it um on screen right now but otherwise i just wanted to point this out uh, right and so that's how that works uh, however so you as i mentioned it's not foolproof if we give them time i'm certain someone's not gonna do their job properly yes there we go you see now we have one by one right and so uh, sometimes it can happen much more. This is actually a pretty good example of like, this is okay. You're like only only one house basically screwed up and you could easily fix it. But if you want to now correct this row, you would have to delete all of these, right? And so that's annoying. Um, how to prevent it? It has some do drawbacks though. So like what you can do is do this, leave a space for extra house and start with just two by twos. And this will prevent that from occurring. 
in your blocks. It is a little bit more time consuming, which is one bad thing about it. And the other bad thing is each plot can only have one immigrant on the map at the same time. There is a fixed rate at which they can spawn and if you carpet the whole map with houses, there's only so many immigrants that can spawn at once. But uh, assuming you don't do that, um, it will slow down the immigration by only having this. But it ensures that these go here, merge, and then you can fill in the rest, right? I'm gonna wait until uh, such thing happens. And also just, you know, just so we don't run out of uh, sentiment because people need jobs, I'm gonna just quickly build ourselves a bunch of schools. And that's jobs taken care of. So now we see that they move in. As now I see them merge, I would start already filling these in. And it, it is slower than this, but it is foolproof because you don't need to bother about you know, oh, my houses didn't merge properly and now I have a mess in my block. You could, of course, just like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna deal with this, I'm just gonna remove them and I'll use this for like one by ones or Lararia uh, or something like that. And you could, you could do that. And you could also do this. But if you want, like, this is the, what this is, what I do. And then we have the like optimal uh, ultimate tryhard mode uh, thing and this is what I use on maps that are absolutely brutal and like I don't have choices in what happens. Uh, in which case what I will do is I would start with the same thing. The drawback of this thing is it is extremely time consuming compared to this or this, right? But this has the benefit of basically giving you the most optimal immigration speed as well as uh, mergers. Uh, how about this block is a little bit shorter? It doesn't matter for this example. Um, I was a bit tired when I carpeted it down, so I'll just cut it short. And now, you know, this is essentially what I did here, right? You know, yeah, essentially, but what we could do is add these, because these will also not merge. They need to be adjacent uh, in such a way that it's gonna trigger the merging, and these will not trigger that. So you can safely put down diagonals, if, unless you, you f fit in these two, when these two are present, it will not trigger a merging. And so with this, we should see that everyone moves in, and we have the optimal immigration speed, and whenever we see two by twos, we can already start to fill in the rest. And technically, people who are on going into these houses are already on the way into the map, and so we could just, you know, keep doing this and it's actually the optimal way to do it. It's just about one third extra time you need to spend per, um, you know, designing a block. And so this is how it would, um, how it would essentially play out for you. Now, next, let's talk about patricians and why do you see people, uh, I do this as well, by the way, use the border statues. It is to prevent mergers from screwing up because when patricians evolve, they often expand in such a way that you can't control it real well. Except, when your block is very well designed, we could even like slash this uh, by one. And so let me let me show you what we would do. So uh, I would be planning this for grand palaces or uh, luxury palaces, right? So four by four houses. Um, we could do without this, but problem is still gonna be these, uh, these middle ones are still going to be a problem. And I'll explain why in a sec. But we could do without the middle part. So let's go ahead and shorten this block by one. And this could be potentially, if you have a lot of desirability, if you have plaza, if you have Grand of Venus to boost uh, desirability, you don't necessarily need to, you know, have the middle row. It helps your desirability as well, but most people use this because um, borders for, for different houses and also places to place fountains. Right? But you could also, like, it's patricians, you can give them fountains from outside, that's fine. Um, we could do without the middle part, we could still fit all the houses, this is four tiles, this is four tiles, and they would essentially meet in the middle, right? And so how would we prevent, if I build it like this, one, one, then they would expand into two by two later when they get uh, the sufficient goods, this one could expand here, and, you know, that potentially could become a problem, because then if this one merges this way, and then this one merges this way and then expands into a 3x3 three three, and it's like this, then this will never be able to have enough space because it's only gonna have 3x3 three three because there's gonna be a palace here, right? That's why we use the middle row. However, uh, what if you don't do that? You can also do it another way and that is just, you know, put them in the corner and that's essentially foolproof because they only can expand 2x2, 3x3, 
four by four, right? So, you know, if you are strapped on cash or space or you have the desirability, you can use this and not bother with the middle row. Assuming you want to keep the borders though, because if we didn't have this border, then that essentially the same problem could become here. Two by two, this could become three by three, and then this one would never have enough space to become four by four because there is a house right there, right? Uh, so if we keep our border statues for in between, then we could also destroy the middle ones, assuming we have reservoir coverage and use this for fountain coverage. So, you know, that's how we would do that. Um, oftentimes you would be planning for smaller patricians as well. Um, not, not necessarily like the 4x4s are a bit of a meme. You don't need them. Uh, it's more of a flex thing. In, a lot of people build them because they can, but on most maps you will not need to build luxury palaces. So this is just something to help you grasp why we do certain things the way we do. And you might see streamers or other people do it. And so now you can improve your play, hopefully, with this knowledge. So I hope this video has been at least a little bit helpful. It's very short. Uh, I'm going to thank you for watching and see you around. Bye.